Hello and welcome to our video review for the Turtle Beach Air Force PX4. Now when the latest games consoles came out, Microsoft and Sony both broke support with a lot of existing headsets. Um, in Turtle Beach's case, they have brought out this model specifically to target that new market. Although all manufacturers are trying to uh, offer support via cable, software updates, or just waiting for the console manufacturers to come along and fix things for them. Um, with the PX4s, they obviously have support for the PS4, but you also have compatibility with PlayStation 3 and, though it's not mentioned anywhere on the box, I don't think, also with the Xbox 360. Um, additionally, you can use them with PC because, by and large, this is just using fairly standard ports, components, um, connections, that kind of thing. Um, but without much further ado, let's look and see what you get inside of the box. Now don't worry, that box was actually empty. But when you do buy a set of headphones, the first thing you want to do, when you've unpacked all of the goodies which are actually inside, the first thing you want to do is look at the manual and how you set it up. Now, pay attention to this uh, warning because the quick start guide for this is... Um, well, it's not very comprehensive. It's there to get you up and running, it tells you what certain things mean and stuff like that, but it doesn't give you all of the options. And um, when you have something quite complex and uh, quite flexible, like the PX4s or PX51s or anything from Turtle Beach and uh, any of these headsets, then you want to have the full manual. So in this case, you go to turtlebeach.com forward slash support, and there you can download a PDF of the full manual and get all of the options explained to you. On the cable side of things you have this is a very nice and long USB charging cable it's just a standard cable so you can use any cable uh, with a mini USB port on the end then you have the Xbox 360 chat cable um, and this is what plugs from the headset to the Xbox 360 controller uh, this then is the PlayStation 4 equivalent. Um, you might note that the 3.5mm jack has got four poles on it, which is quite unique. Um, it's meant that I, you can't use any old cable with these headsets. You have to specifically use this one. Um, for those that want to upgrade their uh, existing headsets or add compatibility to those existing headsets, you can buy this cable for five quid from Turtle Beach via Amazon or Game or, or wherever like that. Finally, you have a 5.1 digital optical tossling cable, which is, again, a standard cable. And it plugs into your wireless transmitter. Now it's dual band, which should help with um, any interference that you get uh, from other Wi-Fi parts, but I haven't had any problems with that kind of interference at all. It has a nice long USB cable, which means that you can put it further away from conflicting components if you need to, um, and the 5.1 cable is also quite nice and long. On the back you have the digital in, but you also have pass-through, so you can um, add it to an existing setup with a surround sound system and you also have analog in which adds a little bit of flexibility with running two devices through it but by and large this is actually just a single purpose um, bit of kit. On the side you then have buttons to change the surround sound angles, pair with the headset which is quite important if you actually want it to send sound um, and turn surround sound on and off. And the front is host to a bunch of blinky blinky lights um, it's quite baffling what these lights actually mean when they're blinking, and this is why you need the full manual. In order to change the surround sound settings, um, it's going to blink a pattern of lights on the front, and you need the manual to be able to interpret what those mean. There's, there's no point um, to trying to do that without the manual. But by and large, it's a fairly diminutive um, and simple little device. It just, you just tuck it away, and it does what it does. Moving on to the headset itself, and um, I have to say that these are incredibly similar to the PX51s, um, right down to the uh, highlighted blue colour on the side. 
Uh, on this side you have the microphone boom. The microphone is detachable as with most Turtle Beach headsets. Uh, you also have power button, tone lets you boost uh, bass and or treble. Limiter lets you save your hearing for later life by um, reducing some of the peaks and troughs of the audio that you're getting. The microphone monitor slider lets you adjust the volume of your own voice which you hear back when you're talking. And on the back you have the game volume dial. Um, when it comes to chat, you want to plug into your PlayStation 4 and 360 using this port. Uh, that's the 2.5mm and it's literally as simple as plugging it into from here to your PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller and the PlayStation 4 recognizes it and you're on the way. For the PlayStation 3 you need to use these buttons on the side for the Bluetooth control. Um, this is actually the only point where you're able to control the chat volume that you're hearing back uh, because with the cables that is taken out of your control and you have to deal with the operating system on the console. Um, this is also where you can, um, these are the buttons that you can also use to pair with a PC for example and so use it with say Skype while you're playing games or that kind of thing. Then on the bottom you just have a fairly standard USB port. On the inside of the cups, um, they are actually quite compact. They, my, I've obviously as quite a large chap of about six five, six six. Um, I've got fairly large ears, and uh, my ears just about fit inside. Um, it's quite a snug fit, but because of the fabric on the pads, um, it means that these are breathable, and so I've been able to wear this headset for quite long periods of time without. Uh, having any discomfort. They get warm but not uncomfortably so. They're also not very heavy um, and with, which is quite surprising really. The battery is built in, there's no need for AA batteries and it's rechargeable and it will last for about 15 hours according to Turtle Beach. Now I've used this for hour on hour on end um, and it's always the DualShock 4 which goes first. It's always the DualShock 4 which pings up the warning and admittedly the DualShock 4 doesn't last as long as the DualShock 3 but uh, it's quite impressive just how long the battery lasts considering how light this headset is. Anyway I'm going to refer you on to the written parts of this review which will cover some of the same ground but um, I will go into other details such as sound quality and that kind of thing. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy the rest of the review. Thanks a lot.